It's that time of year again. Our grandson in Virginia gets a real long five-day Labor Day weekend. So my wife and I hit the road to go visit him and his mom and dad. Since we had one of our rallies to work in northern Pennsylvania a week or so later, we decided to make it a roving, touring, driving, history buff, seeing the country excursion. Now, as I sit here in Pennsylvania, about to go to work officiating the 2021 Susquehannock Trail Performance Rally, I'm thinking back on all that I've seen and done over the past two weeks. First, we only get to see our grandson David about once a year. He's nine going on 19, and he's grown a ton. Hopefully, we'll see them again in St. Louis over the Christmas holidays, but we don't know. His family has recently purchased a boat. Dad's a mariner, can't get away from the water and they'd promised to take us on a day trip up the Potomac River to D.C. We did that. It was an all-day excursion that took us past Mount Vernon, the Washington Monument, Lincoln Memorial, even the infamous Watergate Hotel. We dropped anchor and swam a bit, and then Dad, he can cook Mom, treated us to grilled ribeyes. What a day. We also spent some time in Colonial Williamsburg and New Yorktown, where I had the pleasure of a client reunion. Thanks, Sherry. I learn something new every time I get there. Unfortunately, I only get there about once every 20 years. And then we hit Front Royal, Virginia, and Harper's Ferry, West Virginia, a history buff's path. Revolutionary War, Civil War. But the most memorable part of the trip was taking David to the National Museum of the Marine Corps near Quantico, Virginia, where his mom works. We've been to this establishment almost every time we visit. It's a high point in his and our lives. The museum has a continuous expansion program underway, so frequently there are new things to see when we go back. Last year, during the lockdown, they opened additional galleries in their Legacy Walk area. One of these they term the Never Forget area. It's a shattered glass door room with seats that may be six people. A continuous video plays of families and folded flags and taps and bagpipes and 21 gun salutes and expansive manicured military cemeteries. It's an intense and poignant presentation. My grandson had entered the room while we dallied behind and so we walked in about at the end of one of the video cycles and not wanting to keep an active child cooped up in a tiny room, I asked if he'd like to go and he said, no pop, Let's watch again. That's when I learned that masks can hide quivering lips and that salty substance that sometimes leaks out of my eyes. There, another valid reason for masking up. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.